Here we are, and it's the end of the week, and Friday's lesson asks a very thought-provoking question. What about the neglected rich? Now, you might be like me, and you're thinking, what about that? I mean, we all understand that the poor are often neglected, overlooked, and marginalized. But the rich? Seriously, since when have the rich ever been neglected? I mean, the rich live in mansions, they wear expensive clothes and jewelry, they drive fast cars that cost more than some people make in a lifetime, and the list goes on. They literally have everything a person could want. And on top of that, if you're famous, you have all the friends you could ever want. Neglected? Seriously? And the truth is, spiritually speaking, the rich are often overlooked and neglected. Now, why is that? Because all too often we have formed attitudes about the rich that may not be true. Quite often we assume that because they have everything and the rich don't care about spiritual things. How often have you heard that people don't come to Jesus when they have well, when, you know, they're well off and they have all the comforts they could need? But what if that's simply not true? What if, as Sister Roy pointed out in the Ministry of Healing, that the wealthy appear to be indifferent when, in fact, they are, as she put it, soul-burdened. The truth of the matter is, it's a sin to assume that just because somebody is rich, that they automatically don't care about spiritual things. It was Blaise Pascal who said, There is a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every person which cannot be filled by any created thing, but only by God the Creator, made known through Jesus Christ. Did you catch what he said? There's a God-shaped vacuum in the heart of every person, and that includes the rich, the famous, and the powerful. They may not know it, but even the rich need Jesus. And if we don't tell them, who will? Let me leave you with a challenge for your Sabbath school class this coming week. What can you do to minister to a rich person in your community this coming week? After all, they too need Jesus. Well, that was our final thoughts and nuggets for this week. Now we want you to take some time this week to visit your local Adventist church and share with them some of the things you've learned this week about ministering to the rich. Oh, and please don't forget to join us next week as Seth shares with us some of his thoughts and insights into next week's lesson, Mission to the Unreached, Part 1. I know you won't want to miss it. Well, thank you for joining me this week. Happy Sabbath to come. And as always, God bless.